morning everybody thanks for joining me for coffee and card at home so we had our zoom session this morning and made these two cards which is week three um using the bundle um sweet strawberry so i'm going to show you how to make these two cards um and we are using as we have done for the rest of the um month the sweet strawberry stamp set which coordinates with the um the strawberry build punch so let's make a start so first of all you're going to need a real red card base which um, is half of an A4 sheet and then I have scored it at 10.5 centimeters I'm just going to burnish that fold and I'm going to put that to the side then I have got a piece of um, shimmery white, which measures nine and a half centimetres by 13.8 centimetres. So it's a little bit smaller than I usually use. It gives us a bit of a bigger border around the card base there. Um, and the reason I'm using shimmery white is because we're going to do some watercolouring. So I'm going to start off by stamping my background, which is using this stamp here. And because I'm watercolouring, I'm going to use black stays on ink because that's our permanent waterproof ink. I'm just going to make sure that I stamp this. Um, sorry, I ink this up well because we want to make sure we get a good impression. I'm going to put one of the leaves down here and then another one turned around and placed up this way. Now you've got a gap in the middle where the stems don't meet but that's not going to matter because we're going to cover that with our strawberries. Just obviously remember that to get stays on ink off of your stamps, you will need to use proper stays on cleaner. So I usually do that at the end when I've finished all my stamping. So I'm just gonna put that to the side for a second. I'm gonna stamp my strawberries. So I've got a couple of scraps here of um, shimmery white. And the reason we use shimmery white is because it can just resist the water a little better than the standard standard cardstock. So I'm going to stamp two strawberries. And then two of the strawberry tops. Stamping them on the same bit of card, but obviously I'm keeping them separate because we need to make sure we can cut them out separately with the builder punch. And then that's all my stamping done for my images. I'm going to come back to my sentiments at the end. So I'm going to use the watercolour pencils. Um, and I've got both of our packs of pencils, but I've, I'm using um, real red for the strawberries and then garden green for my leaves. And then I'm just using Daffodil Delight for the centres of the flowers. So I'm just going to start by colouring in my strawberry. And obviously try and keep in the same direction if you can will look a bit neater. And these pencils are super soft so you don't need very much pressure with them. Which I always think shows a really nice good quality pencil if they're really soft and the colour is easy to apply. And then I'm just putting a little bit of extra red over this side of the strawberry so that when it's all blended in with the water, it will hopefully make it look a little bit, bit rounded. So I'm doing the same on that one. 
there's a strawberry and colour that one in now. Obviously this is just going to take a little bit of time to get this bit done. It's a nice relaxing, relaxing start to the day. So just a little bit more colour on that side. Give it a bit of definition. And it aims to sort of make the strawberry look a bit rounder. And then a little bit on that side as well. Then I'm going to get my garden green and I'm going to colour in the tops of my strawberries there. You can't really do too much blending on these because obviously they're not very, very large. But you've got some markings on the actual stamp so it helps to make it look a little bit more 3D. And then I'm going to bring in my background and I'm going to use the same green colour in my leaves I've got quite a few leaves to do here if you really wanted to go to town with it a bit more you could choose a couple of different shades of green and do a bit of blending but I'm just going to keep mine quite simple So our watercolour pencils are available in quite a few different shades now. We have two sets. Um, this one I think is from the second set. And the real red and the daffodil delight that I'm using are from the first set. But both sets give you quite a good range of colours. And I must admit, I haven't done any watercolouring for a little while, so it's quite nice to, to get my aqua painter out again. Or in our newer catalogues, they're called water pens. They're basically a chamber which holds your water with a nice brush end. So it makes watercolouring really straightforward and not messy at all, which is great. Of course, if you don't have an aqua paint or a water pen, you could use a paintbrush with some water, but it's a little bit less tidy, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna, just going to use the Daffodil Delight just to colour the centres of my flowers. Okay. And then my next step is to use the aqua painter now to get those coloured. So I'm going to start with the centres of my flowers. And you don't need to squeeze your aqua painter hardly at all because the water will just naturally come out. And it also stops it getting quite so wet. Um, because obviously you don't want to have to wait for it to dry for too long. You can see there I'm just rubbing that on my mat. That's just really to get rid of... Um, the colour because you don't want to move on to something else that you're colouring in and take that colour with you because obviously it will it will muddy the effect of the colour that you're using. So I'm just going around my strawberry first of all with the darker bit I've done and then onto my lighter bit and then just going back to try and blend those two colours nicely together. And then my other strawberry. Let's 
just try and blend those colours in so it looks fairly natural. Then clean off that one. And then we're just going to do our green now. Let me just quickly do the tops on there. And on this one. That's it. And then I've got the green now to do on my leaves here. And the nice thing about the water colouring is if your colouring wasn't particularly perfect, takes away all those lines blends them in beautifully so you don't have to worry too much if you're not the neatest colorer in the world because the aqua painter does all the hard work for you really There we go, so I'll just clean off that, just to finish off. And then the next thing really is we need to kind of let that dry off a little bit. So I'm going to put my strawberries to the side and leave those to dry. I'm going to keep hold of this, but just be very careful, obviously, of the bits that are still wet. And we're going to stamp our sentiment. I'm going to put one in the top corner and one in the bottom corner. I'm going to switch to memento ink for that because I don't need to use stays on. Um, and I'm using the sentiment, that was so sweet of you, just in the top corner. So I'm just going to line it up with my grid paper so that I can use it to help me keep nice and straight. And then I've also got thank you to put down in the bottom corner there and again just line it up with your grid paper so that you can use that to help you keep it in line there we go so that is all our stamping done now the next bit really is about checking that you're happy with how dry it is because if it's a little bit damp you want to try and make sure that you allow it some time to dry. You may leave that a little longer but hopefully my strawberries are now dry. Yes, they're not too bad at all. So if you don't use too much water then you shouldn't have a problem um, with those. So first of all I'm going to cut out my stalks. I just want to make sure that they're not going to be in the way of my strawberry itself because I don't want to cut through that. And then obviously get rid of your bits of rubbish. And then same with this one. I've got my two stalks cut out there. And then we need to cut out our strawberry. So I'm just going to remove this bit from the top so it fits into my punch a bit easier. And then if you've got enough card to be able to hold on to it, that's fine. But if you haven't, you can use the little tip that I showed you the other week where you can use a post-it note just to hold it on there. post-it note across so it's not in the way that just gives you a bit more freedom to move it around where you need it to go as well and 
and then you can do the same again and reuse your post it out. of rubbish that we don't need so that's all our cutting out done so hopefully now my background is feeling dry I'm just going to stick that onto my card base with Tombow Just make sure that is equally spaced all the way around the edge. And then just to finish off, I'm going to stick my strawberries on so that I am covering up that join there. And I'm just going to stick those on with a couple of dimensionals. Just going to take my little tops for my strawberries and put a little bit of glue on the back of those give them their little hats Okay, and that's finished. So, nice bit of colouring, fairly simple card, just obviously needing a little bit more time to uh, get that done. And obviously, depending on where you put your strawberries, where you put your sentiment, how you angle your flowers, each one could be quite different. So just a quick recap of what we've used. We have used the Sweet Strawberry stamp set with the Strawberry Builder Punch. We've used Real Red C6 card base with a piece of shimmery white um, layered on top, which me measures 9.5 by 13.8 centimetres. And then we've used some scraps of shimmery white just for our strawberries. And then we've used watercolour pencils in Real Red, Garden Green and Daffodil Light Delight for our colouring and stamped with Black Stays on Ink and Black Memento Ink. And then stuck everything together with a little bit of Tombow and some stamping dimensionals. So if you have any questions about any of that, please feel free to get in touch and I'll do my best to help you. If you'd like to place an order for anything that I've used for this card, then please let me know. Or you can order directly online at stampinup.uk and then search for Claire Humphreys as your demonstrator. Um, but if there's anything at all I can help you with, please let me know. Um, and I will do my very best to help you. So next week is our final session using the Sweet Sto Strawberry Stamp Set and Punch. Um, and we'll be doing a very different card to this with no strawberries at all, actually. So join me again at the same time next week. And I will show you our week four card, which is the final card in our month of using this, this bundle. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Take care. Have a good week. And I'll see you then. Bye.